afternoon, parts of Jackson County Park are open again exactly one week after a fire killed eight people and destroyed more than 30 boats. There is still a lot of work to do for investigators and for those involved in the cleanup. Way 31's Casey Albritton is live in Scottsboro after learning new information about both. Casey? Take a look behind me. If you follow my hand, you can see there's a red line in the water. Now, that's the border that is containing all of this contaminated water and debris. The EMA actually tells me this area is about 1,400 feet smaller than it was last week. It was devastating. It was like a hard hit for a small community. So, I mean, I hope that like everybody comes together and like works together to bring it back. Victoria Crownover says she came to the park to get a closer look at the damage from the fire. I mean, there was a, a lot of damage. It really like until you see it, it actually doesn't come into perspective. She says she is in shock. People don't expect stuff like this to happen, and then it just. You know, it hits you so hard. Jackson County Emergency Management Agency says right now crews are trying to remove debris from the water. There are remnants of 50 foot cabin cruisers out there that you may have 10 inches of hull left. The EMA director told me last week was phase one, collecting evidence for investigators. Now they are in phase two, removing boat pieces from the water. And the last phase will be making sure the water isn't contaminated anymore. One hand washes the other on this. As, as quickly as they get that cleaned up, then the more they can shrink the containment down. Smith said it could be several more weeks before people can fish or take their boats out on the water again. It is a hard job to fix, but I, I mean, I hope they get it done as soon as possible because this is a big part of the community and it's a really pretty thing, especially with spring and summer coming up. The EMA tells me the bad weather that Kate is predicting could impact their cleanup progress, progress but we will keep you updated. Reporting live in Jackson County, Casey Albert and Way 31 News.